Welcome you all to Principles of Organic Synthesis. Presently we study the base catalyzed carbon-carbon bond formation. The first lecture we studied the reactions of aldehydes and ketones in the presence of catalytic amount of base to give aldols. In this lecture we will study about perkin reaction, Claisen condensation and Thorpe reaction. The scheme for the Perkin reaction shown here, if you look at the aromatic aldehyde undergoes condensation with acid anhydride in the presence of weak base like sodium acetate to give cinnamic acid. You need a catalytic amount of base for this transformation and if you have electron withdrawing group, the aromatic ring. For example, if you have nitro group, the reaction is facilitated. On the other hand, if you have electron donating group like methoxy group, the reaction is slowed, you get less yield. The mechanism for this reaction shown here, deprotonation of the acidic proton gives carbon ion which can be stabilized by the carbonyl group as enolate. So, this can undergo addition with this carbonyl group of the aldehyde to give this addition product which can undergo intramolecular acyl transfer through cyclic transition state and this can react with this acyl group intramolecularly. to form this tetrahedral intermediate. Once you form this one, this carboxylate is a good leaving group. You can get this acylated compound. Once you form this one, this can undergo reaction with acidic anhydride to give this anhydride and where you will have acetate base which can deprotonate this acidic proton to give this carbon ion which can convert into the alpha beta unsaturated anhydride. This can undergo hydrolysis with acidic acid to give cinnamic acid. If you look at the reaction requires catalytic amount of weak base usually if you take acetic anhydride, we have to use acetate as a base which can deprotonate this acidic proton and you form the carbon ion which can be stabilized by the carbonyl group as enolate. This can undergo addition with this carbonyl group because this is the electrophilic nature to give the addition product. That addition product now undergoes intramolecular acyl transfer through this cyclic transition state to give this carboxylate. This carboxylate can undergo further reaction with acetic anhydride to give this anhydride which can lead to deprotonation of this acidic proton with this acetate to give acetic acid and uh, this intermediate which can lead to the alpha beta unsaturated anhydride that can be converted into cinnamic acid and acetic anhydride with acetic acid. So, using this method you can make variety of substituted cinnamic acid and as I mentioned earlier, we have electron withdrawing group, the reaction is accelerated which may be due to the increase of the electrophilicity of this carbonyl group. If you have the electron withdrawing group, the electrophilicity of this carbonyl group can be increased that can facilitate the addition of this carbon ion and to get this 
intermediate alkoxy ion. On the other hand, if you have electron donating group like methox group, it can reduce the electro electrophilicity of this carbonyl group which can be less reactive with this carbon ion to generate this intermediate. That is the reason if you have electron withdrawing group, you get higher yield comparing to that having the aldehyde uh, with electron donating group. The application of uh, the Perkin reaction shown here, the protected glycine here, uh, this uh, uh, benzoyl protected glycine, when you react with acetic anhydride, it forms a slactone by dehydration. Once you form this one, you have the active methylene group here. This, when you react with base like sodium acetate, which can deprotonate this acidic proton, you will have the carbon ion, which can be stabilized by the carbonyl group. So, this can undergo addition with this carbonyl group of aromatic aldehyde you can get the addition product which can undergo dehydration to give this intermediate is basically aldol reaction. Once you form this one, you can reduce this double bond using red phosphorus and aqueous hydrogen iodide to give this benzyl derivative. This can be converted into this cobosylic acid derivative by hydrolysis. If you do further hydrolysis, you can also deproduct this benzyl group. You can get uh, substituted uh, phenylalanine derivatives. In this way, you can try to make variety of aryl substituted phenylalanine derivatives. Without reduction, the intermediate you can also try to do hydrolysis, then you can get this intermediate which can be further hydrolyzed to give this alba keto acid. So, this also very important component in this way you can make variety of uh, you can uh, this should be AR you can make variety of uh, substituted RL substituted uh, alba keto acids. If you look at this one, this uh, basically this is a aldol reaction here, a deprotonation which undergoes addition with this aromatic aldehyde. And this is a crucial step once you form uh, this one, then you can do uh, reduction to get uh, phenylalanine. Alternatively, you can also do hydrolysis, you can get this alba keto acid. This slide shows few examples for this reaction. The first example involves the reaction of uh, ketone with acidic anhydride in the presence of sodium acetate to give the substituted cinnamic acid. The E Z ratio is almost 9 is to 1. This example involves the reaction of phenyl acetic acid with the benzaldehyde to give again substituted cinnamic acid. This reaction involves substituted benzaldehyde with the substituted phenylastic acid in the presence of triethylamine to give the substituted cinnamic acid. These two examples show that you can also use try to use weak base like triethylamine mustate 
and the reaction can be facilitated. In this case, as we have seen earlier, the triethylamine phosphate can act as a base. The phenolastic acid can undergo reaction with Acetic anhydride you can generate this intermediate which can now you can try to deprotonate the acetic proton you will have this carbon ion So, you can deprotonate the acetic proton, you can have this anion which can exist as enolate. So, this can now undergo addition with this carbonyl group of the aldehyde, addition followed by acyl transfer, then elimination of acetic acid can give this cinnamic acid. Similarly, in this case also uh, the reaction can carboxylic acid may undergo reaction with acetic anhydride and the deprotonation followed by condensation with aldehyde can give this substituted cinnamic acid. Now, let us look at the reaction of ester. So, here the reaction of simple ethyl acetate is shown. This can be reacted in the presence of sodium ethoxide in ethanol to give beta keto ester. So, here we have to use the same base as sodium ethoxide in case if undergoes addition and followed by removal of ethoxy group you will get again the same starting material. And one of the ester acts as the alba CH bond undergoes deprotonation to give enolate the mechanism shown here. So, the ethox group deprotonate this acidic proton alba CH bond to give ethanol you form the enolate. This enolate undergoes addition with this carbonyl group of another ester you have this addition product. The tetrahedral intermediate is converted to this beta keto ester by removal of ethoxy group. This ethoxy group can deprotonate this proton to give this stable unilate. If you look at the pKa value of this proton and this proton and the solvent OH proton and here this is more acidic the pKa value of because this is uh, bonded with the two carbonyl group this carbon therefore, this is more acidic. So, comparing to the starting material and solvent therefore, as soon as you form the 1 3 dicarbonyl compound beta keto ester the base whatever you generate and that base can deprotonate and form a stable unilate that unilate can be converted into beta keto ester when we do workup. So, this crucial step the reaction here the irreversible deprotonation takes place to form the enolate. That enolate can be converted into the product by acid workup. If you compare with uh, the aldol reaction that we studied where the reaction of aldehydes and ketones were demonstrated in the presence of catalytic amount of base. Here you have to use stoichiometric amount of base and if you look at compare these two reactions here you have to use a strong base. Sodium ethoxide if you have if you use ethyl astroacetate if you use methyl acetate instead of ethoxy group if you have methoxy group you have to use sodium ethoxide as base. This because in case of addition reaction takes place you will get back your starting material. In addition to that the acidity of this proton is less comparing to that 
of aldehyde or ketone 1. If you compare the acidity of this, this is more acidic and you can use weak base. And here we have seen many reactions using sodium hydroxide like as base. We cannot use here because when you use sodium hydroxide, it can undergo hydrolysis, you get carboxylic acid. To avoid that, we have to use the base the corresponding to the ester that has, for example, if you have here ethoxy group, you have to use sodium ethoxide so that you can, in case if addition reaction takes place, the reaction of ethoxide takes place with the carbonyl group, you can get back your starting material and the reaction can be proceeded further. Just we have seen one example for intermolecular reaction of esters. Uh, we have seen the reaction of ethyl acetate in the presence of sodium ethoxide that can be converted into beta keto ester. This slide shows intramolecular reaction. The substrate has two ester group. For example, here we have diethyl adipate. So, this can be converted into the cyclopendron and carboxylate in good yield using sodium ethoxide as base in ethanol solvent. You will have the enolate, that enolate when you do the workup, you can get this product. As we have seen earlier in the case of intermolecular reactions, so the base can deprotonate this acidic proton, you will have this unilate. So, you will generate the unilate which can undergo uh, reaction with this carbonyl group intramolecularly to give this tetrahedral intermediate. This can convert into the product where generate base, that base again can deprotonate uh, this proton, you will have the enolate, that enolate when you do the workup, you will get this product. So, this product can be further converted into ketone, this is one of the efficient method to make cyclic ketone. When you do hydrolysis, it will be converted into carboxylic acid, you can do acid hydrolysis, you will get the carboxylic acid. Once you form the carboxylic acid, you can when you heat in acidic medium, it can undergo decarboxylation to give the cyclopentanone as a product. Uh, through the cyclic transition state shown here as it can give carbon dioxide and enol will be generated, this will be converted into cyclopentanone. This uh, slide shows a cross glycine condensation. If you remember the aldol reaction where we have seen the reaction of two different aldehydes, two different ketones and where uh, depends upon the substrate, you can try to generate up to four uh, mixture of four compounds, mixture of products depends upon the substrates. And here also, if you take two different esters, there is a possibility of to produce four compounds to minimize the number of products. What you can do, you can take for example, the reaction of this ester, this ester can generate this as a main product because this ester has only the alpha CH bond, 
which can undergo deprotonation by base, you can form the enolate. This enolate can undergo addition with this ester. This basically acts as electrophile. Electrophile, it can undergo addition with this carbonyl group. You will have This intermediate, it can remove ethoxide to give uh, the enolate that can be converted into this product by aqueous workup. So, if you use one of the ester as electrophile, does not have the alba CH bond, which cannot undergo deprotonation, then the other ester can form the enolate. In that case, you can try to produce as a major product. So, these are the sum of the esters that does not have acidic alba hydrogen. You can use this as electrophile. So, you can get uh, selectively this kind of uh, single compound beta keto ester as a product. And this is uh, given on the increasing order of the reactivity with the enolate. For example, if you react uh, take this as a uh, enolate as a nucleophile it can undergo addition with this much faster comparing to this and this is much faster comparing to this the reactivity order of uh, in other words electrophilicity of the carbonyl group of these esters follow this order this more reactive comparing to this and this is almost similar to aldehyde however this again less reactive because you have the uh, ethoxy group and this again less reactive comparing to that because you have the two ethoxy group, it can reduce the electrophilicity of the carbonyl group. And if you look at this one, you have the electron withdrawing group with this carbonyl group. So, therefore, this is more, react, more electrophilic comparing to this and this is was less reactive comparing this uh, diethyl carbonate. Now, let us look at some of the examples of the reaction of esters with the ketones. Here the reaction of acetone with uh, ethyl acetate is shown. This can be carried out uh, in the presence of sodium with oxygen ethanol to give the enolate that can be converted into acetyl acetone by aqueous workup. If you look at these two, this is more acidic. This proton can be easily deprotonated comparing to ester. Uh, usually there is a possibility it can also undergo self condensation, right. The ketone So, deprotonation of this proton can generate this enolate which can undergo reaction with another molecule of acetone. You can generate this aldol product. Uh, however, this reaction is reversible. Therefore, uh, you can try to generate by optimizing reaction conditions to generate to form the enolate. That enolate can be reacted with uh, this ester to give this addition product. In this case, we have the this enolate. can undergo addition, you will have this tetrahedral intermediate, which can convert into acetylacetone. However, this uh, since you carry out the reaction basic medium, this can undergo 
uh, deprotonation to give this uh, stable enolate. This, however, when you do the work of, so you will get uh, this acetylastone as a product. The second example involves basically this acylation of enolate. We use here ester as acylating agent and you can try to do acylation of this anion using ester and you can in this way you can introduce acetyl group. The, this example involves the reaction of ethyl carbonate with the cyclo octanone. When you react with sodium hydride, you can try to deprotonate this acidic proton, you will have the corresponding anion which can exist in the form of enolate. That can undergo addition reaction with this ester to give the tetrahedral intermediate that can convert into the beta keta ester. This also will exist in the form of enolate because you use as a base, this is uh, you have the acidic proton. However, when you do the aqueous workup, you can get this as a product. You look at the yield is very high, the reaction is quite efficient. Here you use as this as the acylating agent, you can make this carboxylate. Alternatively, you can also make this compound from the intramolecular cyclization reaction is some sodium hydride. You can deprotonate this acidic proton, you will have this anion which can exist in the form of enolate which can undergo intramolecular cyclization to this compound. Uh, here the yield is moderate. However, this uh, reaction of uh, this ketone with the base to give enolate followed by addition with this diethyl carbonate give this uh, cyclooctone and carboxylate in high yield. This another example diethyl oxalate is shown here. You can also try to couple this, you can deprotonate this acidic proton with the base and that enolate can can undergo addition reaction with the carbonyl group of this uh, diethyl oxalate to give this addition product after uh, aqueous workup. Once you form this beta keta ester, this can be further converted into this cyclic ether as a product by acid hydrolysis. When you do acid hydrolysis, it can undergo protonation that can lead to intramolecular cyclization to give the cyclic ether. At the same time, the ester also can be converted into carboxylic acid by the acid hydrolysis to give this acifran, which we use as a drug for heart disease. So, here we have seen acylation of uh, ketones we used different esters. The first one we have seen um, the reaction of ethyl acetate which act as a acylating agent and this reaction we have seen the reaction of ethyl carbonate then diethyl oxalate. As you can see here the reaction is quite efficient. You can try to optimize the reaction conditions to get this 1,3 dicarbonyl compound quite efficiently. This slide shows some examples of this uh, reaction of esters. The first example involves the reaction of diethyl oxalate with uh, diethyl succinic, uh, succinate and when you react uh, this 
diethyl succinate with uh, sodium ethoxide, you can generate anion by deprotonation of this uh, proton as once you generate this one, there are two possibilities it can undergo intramolecular reaction, but it will generate three membered ring it is comparing to that the intramolecular reaction takes place here. Uh, this can be carried out by again controlling the reaction conditions. So, once if you have the enolate that can undergo reaction with uh, the diethyl oxalate. So, you can get the addition product in high yield. This example involves the reaction of another ester. Instead of here ethoxy, we have uh, methoxy group. This also can undergo reaction with the sodium methoxide uh, to give the corresponding enolate. which can undergo addition with this carbonyl group of the ester to give the addition product. Once you have the addition product that can be converted into this uh, derivative by hydrolysis. Uh, this acetal can be hydrolyzed using concentrated HCl to give this uh, carbonyl derivative in good yield as you can see here the overall the reaction produces this tricarbonyl compound in 80 percent yield. So, if you look at these two are intermolecular reaction we uh, react two different esters to get the addition product, but if you look at this one this is a intramolecular reaction. Addition of methyl lithium with this ester can give ketone as a product. So, once you form the ketone, that acidic proton undergoes deprotonation with methoxide using methoxide to give this anion, which can exist in the form of enolate. This can undergo addition with this carbonyl group of another ester intramolecularly to give this cyclic 1,3 dicarbonyl compound as a product. Just we have seen the reaction of esters in the presence of stoichiometric amount of base can be condensed to give beta geta ester. Now, let us look at the reaction of alkyl nitriles which is similar to the reaction of esters. When you react alkyl nitrile with base you can generate the nitrile enolate anion which can undergo addition with another molecule nitrile group to give the addition product that can be converted into enamine. Once you form the enamine, that enamine can be transformed into carbonyl compound. The mechanism of this reaction shown here, deprotonation of the acidic proton can generate this anion. which can be stabilized as nitrile enolate anion which can undergo reaction with another molecule nitrile functional group 
So you can end up with this intermediate. Protonation of this can give this imine which can convert into enamine by proton transfer. Once if we have this one, this can be converted into the carbonyl compound by hydrolysis. This also can be further converted into carboxylic acid. by acid hydrolysis. Once we have this one when you heat further, so decarboxylation can take place. And you will have the enol which can be converted into ketone. So, this is an example for uh, intermolecular reaction. Now, let us look at intramolecular cyclization of this dinitrile compound. So, you have to carry out the reaction controlling the concentration of uh, the reaction mixture. You have to carry out the reaction in dilute form. You have to take this dinitrile compound in benzene and base in ether. You have to add Otherwise, there is a possibility of intermolecular condensation. To minimize the intermolecular coupling reaction, you have to carry out this reaction in dilute form. As we have seen, the base can deprotonate this acidic proton. You can generate the anion. That anion can undergo addition with this nitrogen group intramolecularly to give this cyclic nitrile derivative that can be converted into cyclopentanone derivative by hydrolysis. This also can be further transformed into cyclopentanone. So, this also very powerful reaction to make cyclic ketone. If you have a dinitrile compound alkane, it can be converted into cyclic ketone in good yield. This reaction works very well if you want to make 5 membered, 6 membered cyclic ketones. So, the intramolecular cyclization of diester is also known as Dieckmann cyclization and instead of ester if you use nitrile group that is uh, Thorpe reaction and both work very well if you want to make 5 membered and 6 membered rings. And for larger ring like 7 membered, 8 membered rings, this cyclization of the dinitrile derivative works very well comparing to this uh, diester. This example shows the reaction of alkyl nitrile with alkyl ester here. And if you look at this, this proton is more acidic comparing to that. Therefore, the base deprotonate this proton to generate anion which undergoes intramolecularly reaction with this carbonyl group of ester to give this condensation product. Uh, so, this some of the uh, data is given here as you can see here. So, the Thorpe reaction it works well if you want to make 7 membered, 8 membered rings, but uh, larger rings is not uh, successful. two examples shown here. So, the first examples involves the reaction intermolecular reaction of the dinitrile derivative uh, deprotonation of this acidic proton as we have seen earlier is in sodium hydride can
have this anion which can undergo addition with this nitrile group. So, addition of uh, this uh, enolate with this uh, nitrile group can give this intermediate which can uh, be converted into amine by proton transfer. So, this can exist in the form of in amine. So, this reaction involves reaction between this uh, alkyl nitrile with the ester group and the base can deprotonate the acidic proton. You can generate the anion which can undergo reaction with this ester to give this condensation product. In summary, uh, we have seen the reaction of aromatic aldehyde with acid anhydride in the presence of base, weak base like sodium acetate. To make a cinnamic acid, this is uh, known as a Perkin reaction. We have seen a uh, simple example, uh, reaction between benzaldehyde and acetic anhydride. You can also vary uh, the acid anhydride instead of acetic anhydride, you can also use other alkyl anhydrates, they should have alba CH bond, because if they, the base has to deprotonate the acidic proton, you have to form the enolate. This enolate acts as a nucleophile, which undergoes addition with this aromatic aldehyde to give this uh, cinnamic acid derivative. You have electron withdrawing group, the aromatic ring. The reaction is quite efficient this because the electrophilicity of the carbonyl group of the aromatic aldehyde is increased. Therefore, the unilate that we generate from the acid anhydride weak nucleophile which undergoes addition to the aromatic aldehyde to give this cinnamic acid derivatives. On the other hand, if we have electron donating group in the aromatic ring, it reduces the electrophilicity of the carbonyl group of the aromatic aldehyde, the reactivity of the carbonyl group is decreased comparing to that having electron withdrawing group. Therefore, the reaction is actually gives moderate yields. So, this method can be used to make variety of substituted cinnamic acids. Then, we have seen the reaction of esters using base to give beta keto ester. We have seen simple example the reaction of ethyl acetate to give the corresponding beta keto ester. This reaction is similar to aldol reaction. Perkin reaction also is uh, uh, similar to aldol reaction because you generate the enolate from the acid anhydride. And in this case of glycine condensation, one of the esters should have the acidic alba CH bond, which undergoes a deprotonation to form anion, which acts as a nucleophile, which undergoes reaction with the carbonyl group of another ester to give this condensation product. This reaction requires stoichiometric amount of base. We have seen both inter and intramolecular reactions. The intramolecular reaction provides efficient route to make cyclic ketone. You can make the beta keto ester, cyclic beta keto ester, which can be further 
converted into the corresponding carboxylic acid by hydrolysis. By decarboxylation, you can convert into cyclic ketone. Then we also have seen the reaction of ketones with the different esters, which do not have the alpha CH bond, acidic CH bond, which can act as electrophile and which can we can use as a acylating agent to make the acylation of uh, ketones. The ketone acidic proton can be alpha CH bond can be deprotonated to give the enolate that can undergo addition with these esters to give the corresponding beta ketal esters. And we have seen a uh, few examples on that. Then we have seen the reaction of alkyl nitrile using base. This reaction can be carried out in the presence of catalytic amount or base. We have seen one example for intermolecular reaction. In this reaction, the product is enamine. One of the alkyl nitrile, the alpha CH bond is deprotonated to give this nitrile enolate anion which undergoes addition with uh, carbon uh, nitrile group of another alkyl nitrile to give this enamine, which can be further converted into cyclic ketone by hydrolysis. The imine can be converted into ketone. Similarly, the nitrile also can be converted into carboxylic acid by hydrolysis. Once if you have the carboxylic acid, which can be converted into ketone by decarboxylation using acid hydrolysis under heating. So, both intramolecular collection condensation and intramolecular thorpe reaction can be used to make cyclic ketones. Then we also have seen the reaction between alkyl nitrile and esters and in this way this you can try to make carbon carbon bond formation and the proton which is present in the alpha CH bond of nitrile undergoes deprotonation because that more acidic comparing to that next to ester group. Then you can form the enolate which undergoes addition with this ester to give the corresponding cyclic compound. So, with this we conclude the lecture. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.